Today it's all about spare ribs. We're doing them St. Louis style with the homemade rub and a little bit of barbecue sauce just to finish them off. We're going to start off by preparing our two racks of ribs. These already came conveniently pre-trimmed to the St. Louis cut. So all we really have to do is remove the membrane at the back. What helps is, is just get a bit of a grip with the towel. A paper towel works great as well. And normally that comes off in one strip just like that. If there's any bits and pieces hanging around, you can just pop them off. So for our dry wrap today, we're going two tablespoons of black pepper, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder, and about two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And we're mixing it all up and pouring it out into a shaker bottle for us to apply a nice even coat on our ribs. To help our ribs stick a little bit better to the ribs, we're using a little bit of olive oil. If you want, you can use some mustard or even hot sauce. This is really just a base rub recipe which we can use on most sort of cuts of meat and don't be scared to make it your own by adding a bit of cumin, chili powder or cayenne pepper for some heat. Try and avoid the sugar if you're doing smoking cuts as the sugar content tends to catch and burn. And these are ready for the grill now. Let's go cook some ribs. We've got our grill up to temp now. It's sitting on about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And these are gonna smoke for about an hour and a half to two hours unwrapped to get a good color and a good smoke ring on them. We're about an hour and a half in now, and you can see the color of them just looks unbelievable. It's a couple of dry edges on the sides. We're going to start to spritz with a mixture of apple cider and apple juice. You can see the bones are already starting to pull back, and the color is becoming beautiful and dark. We'll give these guys another 20 or 30 minutes before we pull them and wrap in them some foil. At the two hour mark, we decided to pull these guys off. We're going to give them a final spritz with some apple juice and apple cider. And then we're going to wrap them in a double layer of tin foil, ready to go back on the grill for at least another hour and a half to become nice and tender. And there's your perfect little parcel of ribs ready to go back on. So it's been an extra hour and a half wrapped in tin foil. We did just take a probe between the bones to see for tenderness as well as temperature. These should be reading at between 95 and 97 degrees Celsius or about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Ninety-five degrees is perfect. We're gonna pull these guys off. And if you can see there, guys, it's a, an awesome grilled mac and cheese. Got some parmesan and, and breadcrumb toasted crust on the top of them for crunch. That's going to be an amazing side for our ribs. So the only thing left to do now, guys, is a little bit of barbecue sauce. And just to set the sauce on the, on the ribs, they're really tender. They've already got a beautiful crust on them. And they are soft, as you can see in the, the probe testing in there. They're ready to eat as they are. Just have a look at this bend. These will only take another 10 or 15 minutes just for the sauce to set and then we're ready to pull them off and have some amazing ribs. Okay, we've pulled the ribs off now after about 15 minutes. The sauce is set. We're going to slice in and have a look. These have come out absolutely perfect. They've got a beautiful smoke ring. They're still juicy on the inside. They fall apart tender, but they're not falling off the bone. They've got a bit of a bite to them. Let's see how they taste. Hmm. 
That's perfect. That's it, guys. Very easy to cook ribs on our Komodo Joe. If you like the video and you like the recipe, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on our Instagram page, thebarbecuecompany.uk.